Hi, this is Rob with SalesPad. In this video, we're going to be setting up a payment processor in SalesPad. As you can see, I have a, a PayFlow Pro processor set up on this screen. And, and to create a new one, once the screen loads, we just have to come in here and click New, and then choose the type. Um, VeriSign uh, corresponds to PayFlow Pro because of their, uh, their acquisition. Um, so once, once we create that, it will add a new item onto the list and then uh, we can begin filling in these values. The, the most important ones are these first four for, for PayFlow. And this, uh, here we can put in the, the partner ID, vendor ID, user ID, and password. These are all supplied when, uh, when actually setting up the processor. Uh, the next ones are the, uh, the URLs for the, for the service, and these are defaulted in when creating the new processor. After that, it's important to put in the, the credit card type mappings. There, are these these two letter codes correspond to each of the credit card types. For example, AM is American Express, Discover, Discover, and so on. And the way this works is if uh, you need to take one of these codes and put in the actual Dynamics GP card name that's that's set up in GP, put it after the colon. So, for example, for Mastercard, I know that I know that I have Mastercard set up as this name in GP. And that's needed for that. Um, mode and enabled, these uh, kind of let you control the uh, the processor. For example, if you no longer wish to use this specific configuration, you can just disable it as opposed to deleting it. Mode is uh, something you can select between T and P for test and production. And then the uh, the production database name matches the uh, the GP company name or the database that you're connecting to and this is simply a check to see if if live or test transactions should be should be run with this processor so now that we have the important field set up here let's jump over to the settings module um, as you can see here I have filtered down the settings by by this uh, credit card keyword that will narrow it down to uh, to the fields that we need so there's a few a few settings in here that let us choose global configurations for for processing credit cards. For example, the allowed charge types is simply a list of of the three charge types. As you can see, I have I have all of them uh, listed out here. Again, the uh, the default credit card mappings, um, and this is the the same string typically that you see on the payment processor setup screen right here. This just provides a, a global place to to set the string, and then it can be overridden later in the in the specific payment processor. Then after that, we can choose which of the processors that we have configured, which of those to use as the default, uh, which uh, which charge type to use as the default, and then this next setting. This works for uh, for pre-authorization and capture transaction types. So if we wanted to authorize if I wanted to pre-authorize more than the document total just to make room for shipping then setting this to true will uh, will actually uh, this will actually then lower the payment amount for the capture to match just what's needed for the document and the next one that's kind of important for uh, for just functionality is this pre-auth hold code this is the name of a hold it can it can optionally be a, a process hold in GP but this is a hold that's applied to documents that have a a payment pre-authorization applied to them. And what this does is it allows finding the documents um, so that they can so that the payments can be captured later on. And then the final piece of this whole uh, process is the security. So I'm going to flip over to my security editor, and uh, I'm going to choose my group. And in the list of security options, as you can see, I've filtered down my my options to sales document payments and there are a few settings here that that are needed for for the payment processor setup and really the most important ones are the ones that apply for credit card payments are these uh, allowed charge types whether to allow uh, authorization authorizations charges and manuals so there you go you've just seen me set up a payment processor uh, and We've gone over some of the settings that are needed, and then we've applied the correct uh, the correct security policy to it. Thanks for watching this video. This is Rob with SalesPad.